Essendon. Yeah. Now, on in earnest okay. with this uh, search for a coach, TJ, uh, the mixed messaging continues. We'll just address this part of it. This is the, the coaching committee that's been established by the club to, to find the next coach. Interestingly enough, there's no Kevin Sheedy on that mix. He's still the football director after the retirements of Sean Wellman and Simon Madden. Interesting appointments everywhere here with Robert Walls, who's got Ross Lyon connections. Jordan Lewis has got Adam Uze connections. You've got Simone McInnes, a famous Australian netballer. Andrew Thorburn, uh, the head of the... Uh, the um, bank there prior, and also Dorothy Hisgrove's got AFL connections and is very influential in the whole space. So Josh Money will chair it. So just on Josh Money, he went from being what I thought was under pressure, certainly publicly from a media standpoint, especially when Xavier Campbell uh, resigned, then his position became under threat, yep. and now all of a sudden he's chairman of the selection committee. Has that been a about face, or was the media reading that wrong, that he was under pressure? I just think David Barham's decided to go with him. You couldn't make him that person as head of this coach search, and then to have him come off the club now, given he's going to shape the future mm. of the footy club. So, David Barham's just backed him. Um, David Barham has also knifed and, and lopped a few others. Um, just a mixed messaging component of it. This time last week, the Essendon Footy Club was having a board meeting, decided to, to basically do what they did the week before, and remove Ben Rutten as coach. David Barham speaking about what he felt was required next for the coach. We think we're after a more experienced coach. We think a more experienced coach might be able to get more out of this list and we, we want to give our list the best chance. And then Josh Marnie, head of the coaching subcommittee to find the new coach. Uh, different message yesterday. Yeah, well, experience can be a number of... You can look at it a number of different ways. You know, experience doesn't necessarily mean they have to have coached Senior AFL football before, you know, they can be experienced, and as a Chris Fagan has showed, experienced in football, they can experience assistant coach. So, you know, really you know, speaking to the board about you know, the definition of that. So I would think that Josh Money has now opened the entire field mm. up with what he said there. And I think that's the better way to do it. Because to, to limit yourself before you're having the extensive external review limits clearly your options. So like Adam Uzo, for example, yeah, for be, all intents and yeah. purposes, yeah. presents yeah. very, very well. I'm pleased to hear that uh, clarification from Josh Money because I reckon, yeah, they were closing up. Because really, experienced coach, if, say, Leon Cameron takes the job, we expect him to, to the Sydney Academy. Don Pike, with everything he's been through in mm. recent times. Brad Scott says... Nah, I'm staying with the AFL. Ken Hinckley stays. Ken Hinckley like. stays. I don't even know who they were left with. So I just think they were limiting themselves. I liked much. your thoughts, Lordo, on Sports Day about opening it up to everyone and yeah. not just targeting a Ross line and giving him the job without going through the process. Yeah, I just think that with what McCray McCray's done this year. Uh, absolutely crazy to just limit it to people who have coached before. Because if you look at the last probably 10 premiers, you know, say with you know, Alistair Clarkson, Damien Harbick, Simon Goodwin, Luke Beveridge, Adam Simpson, they haven't coached before. But they've been long-time experience in the game. So all coaches of the to... finals teams this year are first-time coaches, coaches yeah. in their yeah. clubs. And know? that's not to say Ross Lyon may not be good for the club. I'm just saying it would have been crazy just to limit mm. themselves. Yeah. Mind you, there's an article in the Herald Sun this morning, and uh, Leon Cameron talks about the process that Kane mentioned. An unbelievable elongated process what they have to go through, and you'd wonder why, as Ross did with Carlton, why you'd want to go through. But the so process. it should be. So it should be. Then. Well. As, as forensic yeah. and as sustained you are as picking your is. senior coach, it's a massive investment. Well, there are, but there's far bigger jobs going around than football coaches that don't have to go through psych tests and everything else. That's why I'd love Adam Kingsley's appointment, though, because he's done it three or four times before, yeah. whilst also having a really important role at Richmond and, and getting them towards the finals and preparing uh, that you know, brief for GWS. So incredible performance for him. Now, still a massive chance, though, Ross Lyon. Just when, well, despite the whole field now being opened up, I mm. still feel he will be. The next, just a gut feel, but he will be the next Essendon coach. Now, uh, it is a bye week in the men's competition. The volcano, surely you don't have a volcano. Oh, no. The volcano doesn't sleep, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> who, who have you got? Oh, active up. Cane, they? Still, <laughs> still on Essendon, and the only successful thing the Essendon players have planned this year is a footy trip. So uh, <laughs> it was really surprised to see a large-scale <laughs> footy trip that I thought were extinct about 10 years ago and our clubs really dislike and advise their players not to do trips like this because of the risk that you are to get yourself into trouble. So there's the 30 odd players heading across to Ibiza, I think it is, in Spain there. Um, it would be a warning to them not to get themselves into any trouble. Now, I would have thought a better use of Essendon's players' time was to be at Marvel yesterday for Essendon's historic AFLW performance or to be at the MCG next week to see Collingwood and Geelong and two big clubs going at it in a final that Essendon haven't been exposed to. So, without a coach and with the mess that the club's going through, I was really surprised to see 30-odd Essendon players going away together on a footy trip. 
And it's a bit of a warning, you would not want to stuff up on this trip. Uh, is there a wet blanket at Tom's game? Brownie. They can't. They, Brownie. They, they had a hard year. They weren't allowed to smile what at training. What, what, yeah. what other clubs? They deserve to be able to go away and clear their minds. You can't tell an adult male what they can and can't do, where Every they can and can't does. go. Every other club does. No, they does. don't. They Wh don't. Which other now, clubs? In that time where Collingwood players went to Bali, multiple players, not just Jordan to go yeah, each week. So where... Collingwood didn't say, you can't go there. They need to be able to go away, enjoy each other's company, away from the highlight of football uh, and, and your... AFL media in Melbourne. I, I just think you're barking up the wrong tree. And your, and opinion, you your opinion will be popular amongst... Mo most people will agree with you, but if you ask the footy club how they feel about their players after the year that they've had going away to together unsupervised when no other club does it. Okay, trust the, the club doesn't own the player and I think you need to get your head around this. They, they live a life, they play football for the club, they get paid to do so. They're contracted under a certain arrangement to present their services for think, the club. They can't tell do you them think what it's they can't do. do. you think it's risky? Not at all. You don't think it's risky 35 well, players going Getting on a plane anywhere together. these days is risky. Getting on a plane overseas is more risky these days but they're grown men, Kane. They, they can stay out of trouble. Yeah, I, I understand his point. I think some clubs wouldn't allow for 30, 35 blokes to jump on a plane together and go to Good a... Good luck trying to put a ban on I'm sorry, that. but what's oh, the, what's what's the risk? The fact that they might get rowdy, have a few drinks and get into trouble. Is that the risk? 35 players overseas together, clearly... Well, how many footy trips did you go on? I went on a couple okay. a long time ago. Were there problems? Ten years ago. Um, it's... It's, you're at risk of getting yourself into trouble now with social media and phones that wasn't back in 2001 and 2002 mm. when I went. So I think it's a risk and um, with no coach, no chaperone going away with them, it's just a bit of a warning just to make sure they behave themselves. Got to be able to trust your players I reckon.